Hi guys, my name is Kane Day Smith. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you guys how I do my makeup routine. A lot of my dark skin girls has been asking me what type of foundation I use and how I do my makeup. So this video is going to pretty much just show you how I do my everyday makeup routine. Yes, it's called an everyday makeup routine. I know I don't do my makeup like this every single day. Sometimes I am makeup free, but this is how I do my um, everyday makeup routine. Okay, let me just put out a disclaimer, you guys. I'm not a makeup artist, so like, you know, I do it my way, not the professional way. So you guys, I just wanna use that as a disclaimer. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, just make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you tell your friends, your family, whoever to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna leave a list of all the products that I use in this video. Um, so if you guys have any questions or any comments, suggestions, just please make sure you leave them below and I definitely will make sure I read every last one of them. All right, let's get this started. Okay ladies, so the very first thing we're gonna use is the Pixi Glow Toner. I've been using this for about two months. I can't really say I see a major difference, but I do see a little bit of glow hair and there sometimes. I wouldn't recommend it for oily skin though. Then next I'm going to moisturize my face with a Clinique Moisturizing Lotion. This product is great to use in the winter time for my dry skin. They also have a moisturizing gel that I use in the summertime when my skin gets a bit oily. I'm gonna grab my EOS lip balm. I always like to hydrate my lips before I get my makeup started so it can be nice and soft. For my brows, I use the MAC Stud Pencil and a brow brush to help shaping it up. Now it's time to draw the brows in. Okay guys, so I have to admit, this is the part where I have a really, really hard time with when it comes to doing my makeup. If I am ever late for whatever event, this is the reason why I am late. I always have a hard time filling my brows in. I don't know why. But, I mean, I just always like my brows to be perfect. And I know a makeup artist always says, yeah, brows are not supposed to be twins, but my brows better be twins. Ah, you know what? I think we got it. Or maybe not. As I said, ladies, filling my brows in is a huge struggle for me. But don't worry, I'll get it right. Up next, I'm going to use my Caress Wild Rose Vitamin C Active Brightening Oil. I absolutely love this product because it brightens and evens my skin tone while moisturizing and improving my skin texture. Definitely a great buy, ladies. Then next, I'll be priming my face with the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. This product is supposed to minimize the look of pores. I don't really have pores, but I've heard so many great reviews about this primer with it keeping your makeup on. So I figured, why not give it a try? Now I'm going to sculpt my brows using the NARS Radiance Creamy Concealer in Amand. And I'll be using the Mud Flat Brush to perfect my shape. Next, I am going to use my MAC 286 blending brush to blend out my concealer. This step is very important because you want to make sure the concealer fades into your skin as natural as possible. Um, ew, we're not going to settle for that. I'm going to go back in and make my right brow a bit thinner so it can be somewhat identical to my left brow. Then I'm going to grab a darker shade of concealer from Black Opal and Mahogany to complete the shape of my top brow. Now it's time for my favorite part and that is lashes. Before I throw on those lashes, I'll be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. 
I'm not so big on wearing eyeshadow, especially for my everyday looks, so I'll be using the MAC eyeshadow in a bark and the MAC blending brush in 224. Now the most important part of my makeup is the lashes. I'll be using the My Lash Extensions Mink Lashes that's reusable 27 times or more. And the My Lash Extensions Ultra Hold Adhesive that literally keeps your lashes on for 48 hours. I've added my adhesive. And now I'm going to grab the My Lash Extensions Easy Applicator. I could never do my lashes without these guys. So now we're going to use the My Lash Extensions Easy Applicator to put our lashes on in an upward position. So now I'm just pressing my lashes with the My Lash Extensions Easy Applicator so that way there's no lines or unnecessary looking. I am in love with these new lashes. To give my lash line a finished look, I'm going to grab my MAC Liquid Eyeliner. Then I'm going to push and hold my lashes for about 8 to 10 seconds so it can sit nice and tall. Now, the moment you beautiful people have been waiting for. The foundation that I use is the Ella Mask Rich Liquid Foundation. This is super perfect for all my melanin queens out there. And trust me ladies, as long as you pick out your correct color, it would never leave your skin looking gray. I usually like to mix up my two colors. The lighter one is the RF325 and the darker one I can't seem to remember, but I promise I'll be sure to add the details below this video. Now I'm going to take my spatula and mix it very well to get a nice even tone. Now I'm going to pat down my foundation with a damp PB blender. Now it's time to highlight with the NARS Radiance Cool Concealer in Armani. I don't usually like to put so much, I just put a little bit, I dab, and I go. Okay, so this part is very important ladies. I used to look so crazy when I never took the time to blend out my concealer. Blending is extremely important, so be sure to take your precious time doing so, even if it's going to cause you to be late. Just kidding about the late part. Okay, and now it's time to set my highlight and I'll be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest. I've been obsessed with this product for ages, guys. Okay guys, it's a bit shattered, but it'll still do the job. Then I am going to add a very light layer of the Sasha Buttercup Powder. I know many people are obsessed with baking, but for me, I'm just not a fan of baking yet. Only because it becomes too light for my skin complexion, and for whatever reason, there aren't too many setting powder for us melanin girls. So, like you guys see what I did in the last step, with the MAC Mineralizer Powder, I used the MAC Mineralizer as the first layer, and then the Sasha Buttercup as my second to get a warm setting look. Next, I'm going to grab my Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide on Pencil to darken up my waterline. Now, I am going to go back to my MAC Mineralized Powder to use as my finishing powder. I'm also going to go back to my Illamasco Foundation and use that to lightly contour my cheekbones. Up next, I'm going to be using the Anastasia A23 Brush and the MAC Gold Deposit to give myself a nice glow. I've got my bittersweet lip liner to line up my sweet old lips. 
I'm going to be using Trap from Colourpop for a matte soft pinkish look. As for my finishing spray, I will be using the MAC Prep and Prime spray to get that gooey look. Last but not least, I'm going to go back and grab my L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara to brush down my bottom lash. Ladies, now you see how I do my everyday makeup. I enjoy showing you guys all this routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Be sure to leave your comments below and let me know what you'd like to see next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Bye!